Hello, I am Rolando Carrasco from S&P Solutions here in Mexico, and I am here with Leonardo, with Juan Carlos, and Gerardo, who is taking film. And we are here to explain to you the air pollution control demo that we have built with Oracle Cloud Services. The idea is to give a possible solution to the problem of the Mexico City pollution. So as you can see, we are here in Mexico City and you can see somehow the, the clouds and maybe it's not the, the, um, the highest polluted day, but in the past months we have had very high levels of pollution. So since maybe March or April this year, we've been thinking about creating an integrated demo using Oracle Cloud Services. And we thought that the air pollution problem will be a good idea because during the past months, as I mentioned, we have had these records of level of pollution. It's been a very um, common topic with our friends, uh, with our family, because everybody has been affected, not only because the pollution is high, and this is a very serious problem, but also because of the measurements that the government has taken to fight this problem. In specific, we as citizens, in specific periods of time, we are not able to use our cars twice a week. So if you want to move from your place to your work, and maybe it's one of those days that you cannot use your car, then you, you have an issue right there. So, so it's been a very common conversation during the past month. So we built this, this demo, and we are going to show you how we built it. So the first thing is the problem. As I mentioned, we have this problem for many years now, but in the specific in 2016, the pollution just went to levels that, I don't know if any other city in the world has it, but at least here in Mexico, we, we thought that it was maybe a fog, but it was a smog. We, we, can, we can go to the streets and see this um, kind of fog, but at the end it, it was a smog. We, we, we were actually breathing all that smoke just to, to go to the street. So, so it's very serious. So the problem is there. The measurement that the, the government has taken maybe are okay, but definitely they, they do not solve the issue. And we are not saying that we are solving the issue itself and this is going to be the way to, to get rid of that pollution. But maybe it is a good idea and maybe at least this is showing how to use the Oracle Clouds to solve a real life problem. So, so that is the situation. So what is uh, the proposal? So the proposal is focused on two things. The first one is to be able to get the mileage of, uh, of the vehicles in the city. So we want to get how many or, or the mileage of the cars because we want to control how many kilometers or miles they are running down the streets, okay? Maybe they will have a limit for a specific day, for a specific week, or for a specific window of time. The main idea is to get that distance. So we want to track that distance. We want to get the information for, for every vehicle because we want to control how many kilometers they are running. That's the first thing. The second thing is to get the level of pollution through sensors in the city, which is something that, that, the, which is something that the city has already built. There is this uh, web page where you can see the level of pollution for the current day. So we can mix those two things in order to give or try to give a solution for the high level of pollution in, in of pollution in the city. So that's our proposal. Let's keep in mind keep in mind those two things: mileage of the vehicles, how to track that mileage, and the second thing, the level of pollution. Okay. So what did we use? So what are the cloud services that we use for this demo? So we use the IoT cloud service, the VI cloud service, SOA cloud service, the database cloud service, the mobile cloud service, and the ICS. What we are going to show during the demonstration is mainly IoT, BI, and mobile. The SOA cloud service, the database cloud service, and the ICS, the ICS sorry, are behind the scenes. We are going to mention them, but the reality is that the user, the audience, or whoever is interested in this is, is going to be in contact with IoT, BI, and mobile, mainly, okay? So the solution is built through those cloud services. As you can see, it is um, a very high level of, of integration among them. It is not an easy use case, but we are showing how the power of every single cloud service from Oracle 
integrated is able, is able to, to deliver a good solution. Okay? So let's keep in mind also two, two other elements because those two elements are key for our scenario. The first thing is the Arduino, which is a microcontroller. So we were able to configure this microcontroller to simulate that we are uh, sensing the level of temperature and maybe the level of pollution in the city. So we, we built a, a small piece of code. Leonardo built this, this piece of code, which is running in the microcontroller and is sending information about the temperature that is this microcontroller sensing. So it is sending to the cloud that information. So that's one thing. The second thing is, in order to simulate that we are running down the streets with our cars, we are uh, using a remote control vehicle, which is going to be uh, attached with a mobile device. And with this, we are going to track the mileage of this vehicle. So those two elements are key because in the, in the demonstration that we deliver, those two things are, are part of the demo. So let's start. The first thing is the vehicle, as I mentioned. So the vehicle is going to be um, powered by this application somehow. The application will be installed in the vehicle, either inside the vehicle itself or via a mobile device, or somehow this is going to have the ability to send the mileage of the car, the ability to send how this car is um, going through the streets and we are going to track the kilometers that this vehicle has has run during a specific window of time maybe a day so from the beginning of uh of the travel of this of this vehicle we are able to catch that information so in real time we are getting how this vehicle is moving through the streets not because we want to know where is a specific vehicle no what we want to get is the mileage of the vehicle because we are going to have certain rules in order to prevent a vehicle to run more than I don't know 100 kilometers per day and if there is a very high level of pollution maybe we can uh, decrease that amount and maybe it's just able to move 50 kilometers so the, the citizen is just going to use the vehicle because he needs to it is not going to just use the vehicle to go to the corner shop in order to to buy whatever, no, this is just going to be used because he needs to use the vehicle. So we are limiting the amount of kilometers that is able to run in a specific day, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing is that the citizen is going to have a mobile application. That mobile application, Juan Carlos is going to show it to you. And this is going to have information of the level of pollution, uh, news about pollution. Uh, also, it's going to receive push notification if there is a very high level of pollution during the day. So, so this mobile application is also key for this scenario. Okay, so let's move into the demo. Uh, Leonardo in specific is going to show you, show you the IoT side of the demo. So let's do it. Okay. On this screen, we are showing how our sensor is, is sensing this information about air pollution and send our sensor uh, send this information to the IoT cloud service. And then we are moving this information to our IoT cloud service. These numbers are the index of the air quality we are measuring on the sensor and are moving to the IoT. Then from this cloud, we are moving this information to two places, to SOA Cloud Service and BI Cloud Service. In SOA Cloud Service, we will receive the, this index information and store it on a database model in Database Cloud Service. Then. Uh, when this service receives a new index, uh, these indexes are evaluated. If the index is higher than 150, that is a, is a, a, a normal pollution error index, uh, we will do the following. 
through another service in Sora Cloud Service, it will send a notification to the user letting, letting them know that the air quality is bad. Then this user will be able to retrieve in real time uh, via the mobile application, the environmental contingent, contingency status and the amount of kilometers dri driven per day. Uh, through a cloud-to-cloud -cloud integration in ICS, in ICS, we can send a message uh, to Twitter and this message, this message will notify about the bad, the bad air quality to all its followers. Okay, so as you can see, this is, this is the IoT cloud. As we mentioned, we have a sensor which is sending the information. We are simulating for demo purposes. If we just get back to the, to the simulator, we are simulating this, this uh, information that is uh, being sent by the sensor. So this is code that is inside the sensor and it is it's sending to the cloud these numbers, 173, 258, 197, 62, whatever. And this is the level of pollution that we have in the city. This actually has a name in, in, in Mexico. We we um, we call it Imeca. That's the level of pollution that we have in in the um, in the air and in the specific here in Mexico City. So as you can see, this is the Indice Imeca or the Imeca Index. Imeca means Indice Metropolitano de la Calidad del Aire. So this Indice Metropolitano de la Calidad del Aire, as Leonardo mentioned. So it's been sent to the cloud. So take a look to these numbers because we are going to use these numbers during the whole demonstration. This is simulating that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or whatever sensor sending the level of pollution in that specific suburb, for example. The other thing that we skipped a um, few minutes ago is the information that the vehicle is sending also to the cloud. If we move to the web page, um, this, this is the information that the vehicle is being sent, sending to the cloud. This is the plate of the vehicle, and this is the latitude, and this is longitude. Obviously, this is not the uh, um, a user uh, UI. This is not going to be used by someone. This is just to simulate that we are receiving the information in real time. So, cars in the street are going to be sending all that information. So we can track per plate. So just imagine the amount of, of information that we are going to receive. We have, I don't have the exact number, but we have millions of cars in the street uh, in Mexico City. So this is going to be real time, every day, sending the latitude, the longitude. And with these two information, with these two data, sorry, we are going to track the mileage of that vehicle, okay? And with that mileage and with the rules we are going to apply with that information, we can say this is very high level of pollution with the other information, the one from the sensor. And we can say the cars cannot be um, moved more than this amount of kilometers because this is very high level of pollution. So they need to stop. They need to get back to, I don't know, to a parking lot, to their homes or to wherever in order to not use their cars. So we are preventing them to use their car because of the mileage, okay? So, so far we have um, shown to you the two main points of this demo. The vehicle sending that information, and if we go back to the, the, sensor. the sensor, the information that the sensor is sending to the cloud. IoT Cloud is already involved, SOA Cloud Service is already involved, and now we are going to take a look to the mobile application and how MCS is involved in the demonstration. So Juan Carlos is going to explain you how, okay? So the first thing that he's going to show, to show you is the mobile application. So Juan Carlos, please. Yeah, okay. Sure, as Rolando said, one of the goals of the demonstration was to, okay, once we receive all the information in all these clouds, we need to show it to the user. Okay, uh, we built the application in Math, Oracle map application and this has four main sections we have the profile news location and some history where we will show some graphics okay in profile we have um, the name the plate 
also the municipality, how many kilometers has driven the user, and the pollution index. Okay, let's check. Okay, it's taken now. Okay, as we can see, all this information was has been retrieved from the um, database. How we do this? Okay, so using a customized API, we make a call to the SOA Cloud Services and we retrieve all the information that has been already gathered on the database. Then that's it, how does it work? So, okay, so we have a REST API. This is the endpoint. Um, it's REST-based, as I mentioned, and it's been used by the MAP application. So the MAP application connects through mobile cloud services and this is the gateway, let me say it in, in such a way, that is going to connect to the backend services. The backend services are being built in ICS or in SOACS or in, in any other backend. It can, it can connect to any type of backend, if you will. So it is just a very basic REST base, and if we just scroll down, we can see the call that, that we just did, and this is the information that is being retrieved from the backend service. As I mentioned, it is maybe an SOA service, and the SOA service is get, getting connected to the database, so we are getting that information from there. So, we are just missing one piece of our demonstration, which is the BI piece. And so these are the dashboards that we have created for, created, sorry, for that demo, for this demo. And everything is from the information that we are gathering from the sensors and from the vehicle. Because from the vehicle we can, we can get where is this car being driven, is in which suburb, so we can get the suburb from, from the vehicles. What are the level of pollutions? We can get that from, from the sensors. How many fines the citizens are getting because they are uh, not respecting the amount of kilometers that they can run. All that information is getting from the mobile application, from sensors, from the vehicle itself. So as we can see here, we can, we can track the model of cars. So what are the cars, what are the brands of the cars, from which year they are, and how, um, how many of those vehicles are not allowed to circulate through the city because we have level, uh, high level of pollution. We are getting that information and we are reporting right here. In this one, we are getting per every suburb, what is the level of pollution? And how we did, we did we get this information from sensors? In this dashboard or in this report, we are getting from every suburb, okay? which are the amount of kilometers that they are running and we are comparing that with the level of pollution from where did we get this level of pollution from where did we get this amount of kilometers from sensors and from the vehicle so everything is is related related with this okay so there is an additional dashboard right here if we click in this tab And we get also some useful information in this dashboard. We are getting the amount of money that we are getting from, from, from fines. So the government can track how many money they are getting from, from those fines. The amount of fines related with the model of cars. So maybe you can get a sense of in this year, in this month, in this suburb, uh, this model of car are getting this amount of fines. So maybe the, the oldest cars or the new, newest cars are the ones who are getting more infractions. Maybe it could be useful. And also we are getting the amount of kilometers of the mileage of the vehicles and you are comparing it with the, uh, with the amount of the fine. Okay, so we are comparing here money with kilometers. So in this suburb, for example, um, I am trying to look for a name that is not so hard for you, maybe Xochimilco, <laughs> is getting this amount of money or is generating this amount of money uh, because they are um, having this amount of, or, or this mileage, they are crossing the limits that they are allowed to run. 
So this is it. So that is the whole demonstration that we built. Two main points, the mileage, we are getting that from the vehicles. We track it actually in these dashboards. And the second thing is the level of pollution that we are getting from sensors. We mix that information, we analyze that information, we report that information, we push that information into the mobile application, and we are preventing vehicles to move around the city because uh, or we are preventing those vehicles to move around the city if we have high level of pollution. So that's the key, that's the way, or that is our, our solution for that specific problem. So that's it, thank you very much.